Relative Humidity Effects on the Life History of Black Soldier Fly Published in the Entomological Society of America Research by L. A. Holmes, S. L. Valerhoven, and J. K. Tomberlin This study set out to determine the relative humidity threshold on egg eclosion or hatching and adult emergence from the pupa stage of the black soldier fly. Previous studies were focused on sustaining a year-round colony in warm climates such as Texas. This study focused on climates with season variability such as Canada. In this colder area during the winter they require heaters which can result in low relative humidity. In many insects low relative humidity conditions can cause high mortality especially in the egg stage. Methods To determine the optimal relative humidity conditions, a few experiments were run. For the first test, 25% relative humidity was used for the lower threshold and 70% relative humidity was selected for the control in the upper threshold as a result of successful development in Tomberlin et al. 2002. To start this experiment, 10 clutches of eggs were put in 25% relative humidity and 75% relative humidity growth chambers sim simultaneously. In the second experiment, 10 clutches of eggs were put into 25% relative humidity and 70% relative humidity growth chambers but were switched back and forth between both humidities to allow exposure to both. Next, 20 clutches of eggs were compared in three different growth chambers at 40, 50, and 60% relative humidity. Regardless of the humidity, every growth chamber maintained a constant temperature of 27 degrees Celsius or 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit with a photo period of 12 hours on light and 12 hours off. While developing in the moist substrate, the larvae are not subject to the relative humidity, but when leaving the substrate, they are affected by relative humidity and it may have a significant effect on development, so it was also tested in a third experiment. In the final experiment, to determine the relative humidity effect on adult emergence, 30 post-feeding larvae from every test was removed from their food and capped into a 30 milliliter cup without lids and were placed into their respected growth chambers and monitored for 12 hours for pupation emergence. Results. For experiment one, the eggs subjected to 25% relative humidity, regardless of switching growth chambers, had higher mortality and slower development than eggs in the 70% relative humidity range. In experiment number two, the eggs subjected to 40% relative humidity had a higher mortality rate and a slower development than eggs in the 50% relative humidity. But eggs subjected to 50% relative humidity also had a higher mortality rate in slower development than 60% relative humidity. Post-feeding larvae and pupa in 25% relative humidity had higher mortality than those in 40% relative humidity and 70% relative humidity, while 40% relative humidity also had a higher mortality rate than 70% relative humidity. For adult emergence, pupa in 25% relative humidity had a lower successful adult emergence rate than those in the 40 and 70% relative humidity, but pupa in the 40% relative humidity also had a lower successful adult emergence than those in 70% relative humidity. In the final experiment, relative, relative humidity independently affected adult longevity such that adults in the 25% relative humidity survived fewer days than those in the 40% and 70% relative humidity. And also in adults in 40% relative humidity survived fewer days than 70% relative humidity. Conclusion. This study ended conclusively. Relative humidity has a significant effect on successful black soldier fly larva egg hatching in adult emergence. In low relative humidity environments, water loss to the egg and pupil membranes can be detrimental to holometabolous insects, resulting in death. Eggs in 25% relative humidity took between 1.5 and 2.5 days longer to hatch than eggs in 70% relative humidity. Why relative humidity delays egg hatching is unknown. 
but Wilmer 1984 suggests longer development time is an, a result of increased energy cost for conveying water because of transportation. The research also provided death is highly likely on post-feeding larvae and pupa under low relative humidity conditions, with only 16% adult emergence at 25% relative humidity. All dead larvae were collected and were dissected for evidence of dehydration. The larvae were found to had high portions of hollowed cavities and fat stores completely depleted. This means that the larvae were most likely dehydrated and higher humidity levels are key to growing and succeeding in breeding black soldier fly larvae.